Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's time for another spooky Halloween video. I'm realizing now that maybe wearing a black t-shirt wasn't the best option because at least to me, um, I look like a floating head right now. Cause you can't really see the chair that I'm sitting in. <laughs> It's a Halloween video, might as well. Anyway, so today's video, um, I'm actually gonna do a Josie and the Pussycats look. Um, I'm very excited. I'm not doing like like the live action one though. I'm only doing like um, like my own little spin off of like the cartoon character. Um, like from, I think they were in the Archie comics. I think they were on Scooby Doo. Um, I don't really know if they had like their own specific thing um, with the cartoon. It was always funny to me that they were like featured on so many different like little shows like that. But yeah, so like my goal for this is to, again, like I said, just like my own little like spinoff um, of the cartoons. So here's the little cartoon right here. Obviously I'm doing red hair Josie here. And as always with uh, all of these Halloween videos that I've been doing, I've also been, um, you know, filming TikToks, taking pictures at the end and posting them to my Instagram. Um, so, you know, by the time this video is posted and you're watching this, the Instagram post will be up and the TikTok video will be up. So if you don't feel like sitting through all my crazy chaos that is always in all of these Halloween videos, head over to my TikTok for a quick and easy little transition. <laughs> so I think for this look, um, Obviously, she's like a girl in a band, so it's not really like, like I don't have to look like a cat. It's not like my face painting videos. Um, I'm gonna do kind of like a uh, like a brown smoky, maybe like a brown lip sort of a thing. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Okay, so for this one, I think I'm actually gonna start off with my eyes, um, just because I am doing like some brown smokiness um, with like maybe a little bit of shimmer to it. So I don't wanna go ahead and do like all my skin um, and then have all of the eyeshadow and everything fall down into it. That would suck. <laughs> I'm also really excited because I just got like a bunch of new ColourPop um, Super Shock shadows and I haven't gotten any of those in so long. The only reason that I got them is because they were like discounting a whole bunch of them. Um, so they were literally like $2 each. All right, so I'm gonna start out by I, um, priming my eyelid just using the Anastasia um, eye primer right here. Time's ticking guys. Time's ticking. Right now as I'm filming it's September 23rd trying to get all these looks done before October. I'm just excited that it's like officially fall now. Like I don't have to feel like such a weirdo for um, like decorating and everything. Not that I really let that bother me. <laughs> you know one thing that I actually am like dying to do this year um and it's only because i haven't been able to do it for a while um is i want to go to a haunted house this year i really really want to go to a haunted house even though i know i always get really overly freaked out by them <laughs> and i like latch on and do not let go of whoever i'm with that's a that's a part of the fun it's a part of the fun of a, of a scary haunted house so i don't know where i want to go this year I don't know, but I just really, really want to go to a haunted house. Do you have a haunted house that you go to every Halloween? Um, if you do, comment down below and tell me an experience. Tell, tell me about a story there. I'll tell you a story. I'm getting, um, we're getting real spooky on this one. It's because I'm excited that it's actually like officially fall. So in my area, I'm not saying the name of the place because I don't want creeps on the internet knowing where I live. So, <laughs> but there is uh, this place nearby uh, actually somewhat down the road from where me and Preston live. Um, <laughs> it's in the town over, but it's still like off of our road, basically. Um, there is this place that used to be an asylum. Of course, that's where any of the haunted houses are. Um, I feel scared even talking about this right now because I'm home by myself. <laughs> I'm like paranoid. <laughs> Okay, really quick, I'm actually going to take the uh, ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, one of the ones that I just got, um, in the shade Ritz. Looks like this, it's kind of like a brown champagne sort of a color. Um, and I'm just gonna use my fingertip to just kind of tap this over my lid right here. But yeah, um, this place, it used to be an asylum, naturally. And I think at one point it might have been like, like a school of some sort too, maybe before all of that. I don't know, there's a lot of spooky history that's gone down there. Um, but that was like the only like haunted house that I personally have ever been to that's like supposedly actually haunted. Sketchy. <laughs> so sketchy. I mean, I've been to like other ones, you know, um, that have been held like by local people that, you know, it's like a storage building that they've turned into a haunted house. That's fun too. Um, you know, I'm, I'm freaked out any place like that 
But this place, like I said, is like actually genuinely not okay. Like it's literally been on television of having like ghost hunters and people like that going in and like seeing it. So that's, <laughs> I'm so, I don't even want to talk about it, it's so creepy. Um, and I'm not gonna go in depth about it because my little sister does watch these videos and Emma, I don't want to scare you too bad. I went there twice. Um, I went there twice on purpose and I'll get into that in a second. But the first time that I ever went was by far the scariest situation I think I've ever been in. Um, I feel like after that first time that I had gone, um, they they kind of, I don't know, I feel like they kind of tried to turn it into too much to where they went overboard and then it just wasn't really as fun anymore. Um, but the first time, let me tell you what, I have never been inside of somewhere and gotten such not good vibes, okay? Just not good vibes. Literally the moment I walked through that door, and there's like a bunch of people all over the place. Like, it's not like we were completely alone. But yeah, I walk in and immediately through the front door, there's like this big staircase that leads up over to the left, okay? I've never felt such a chill down my freaking spine, okay? Until I walked into that building. It was so sketchy. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's it's been, yeah. It's been said to have like, you know, people will get chills down their, their back. They'll feel uh, like somebody's like tugging their hair um, or like have touched them and it wasn't one of the cast members. They were like alone. It's sketchy, it's real sketchy. <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know about that. Then I find out, then I marry Preston and I find out that a long time ago when he was like young in high school, um, him and his buddies freaking broke into the place one night when it was raining. Like, like not when it was like a haunted house and everybody was there and oh, they're being sneaky. No, it was completely empty and it was just them. Who does that? Who in their right mind does that, okay? My husband apparently, freaking psychopath. Oh, but yeah, about about the, the time that I didn't mean to go there. So obviously, like I said, I've been there twice uh, on purpose um, for the haunted house. The second time, not so great. Um, but there was a third time, okay? And I did not go inside, but it was one night where um, me and one of my friends were hanging out and we were waiting for our other friend to get off work. And he decided so just, you know, we drove into the area, whatever, the little town, and all of a sudden he starts going down that road. And I was like, where are we going? <laughs> and sure enough, he freaking drives me right up to the, like, the, the front little entrance of where you go in and there, like the building is right there. And I'm like, immediately, okay? This was off season. There were no events happening. It was just an empty building. I was not down for it, okay? I need lots of people around me if I'm going to be entered into a situation like that. And I literally got so mad at him. <laughs> I made him stop driving. And I was like, I'm not getting out of this car. I already feel like a heaviness on my chest and I already feel like like sketchiness coming from this place. I'm not going inside. Um, and luckily he did stop, he did listen. But yeah, didn't mean to go that time, didn't like it. <laughs> okay, so now I think I'm gonna take the other ColourPop um, Super Shock Shadow in the shade Free Rain. And it looks like this, it's a deep color. And so this one, the first one, I literally only did like on the like inner half of my eyelid. This one I'm gonna focus on the outer half of my lid. Still just using my fingertip. But yeah, that, that place is super sketch. I, I'm not... Like I said, if I ever were to go there again, um, it would have to be during like the huge Halloween event. It would not be just, let's go, let's go just wander the area. Heck no, no thank you. So yeah, if you have a spooky story about, you know, a uh, haunted house or anything really along those lines, I, I do like hearing about the story. So comment that down below. I wanna know, I wanna know all your spooky stories. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab another one of those ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Um, and this one is in the shade Run Wild. Um, and this one's a little bit more of like a coppery brown. I'm gonna tap this one in the center of this, um, just where like the two colors meet. Okay, I'm loving these colors so far. I really am. <laughs> 
I am just going to take um, my little Calla fluffy brush right here. Um, I'll have the number listed down below. Um, and I'm going to dip back into that Ritz shade. I usually like to use these super shock shadows just on my fingertip. I feel like you get the best um, color payoff with this. Um, but I'm going to try it on a brush and I'm just going to kind of like try to blend this upward a little bit. Um, I'm going to use some like matte shades to smoke out the outside. But I kind of think I want to leave the inner portion like a little bit shimmery. All right, and then just on that same Cala brush right here, I'm actually going to take the, <laughs> my love, uh, my Vive palette, the Essentials palette, the first one that she came out with, which I've seen the second one with the like the rosy tones. I want it, <laughs> I'm just saying. But I'm going to grab, um, I'm gonna grab the shade Delicious, which is this one right here. Um, and I'm gonna start to just lightly kind of blend this color outward a little bit. I just want the darkness to kind of be focused on the outer portion. Um, and I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a little bit of something else um, also in here, but I just, in a second, in a second. So back on the uh, haunted house topics, do you also comment down below if your area, like where you live, has any sort of like stories kind of like that that like loom over the area um i remember i'm not gonna say the name of the sisters because again i think you'll be able to search for it and i don't want creeps knowing where i live okay but i remember back in like maybe elementary school up into like i think middle school even um it's like every year that it was halloween there was just this thing that the teachers um you know we would have like a halloween day and the teachers would tell us this story um and it actually did happen like in this area like it actually was something that happened way a long time ago um and it was about these sisters and honestly i can't even remember everything about it i just remember that every halloween i was so obsessed with just like googling them and just learning all of the stuff because it was so spooky um, and just the fact that it happened like in my area was like so creepy to me. <laughs> there were like weird histories like surrounding their family, like like people passing away and and for for unknown reasons and you know that type of stuff. Um, yeah, spooky, spooky. I don't want to go in depth again. My sister watches these videos, <laughs> but if you have any spooky stories that uh, kind of loom over your area, let me know in the comments. I want to know. I want to know all about your scary stories. I am in like an especially spooky mood today, seeing as how like it's officially fall. Um, and also it's like 60 something degrees outside, which is like perfection to me, like 50, 50 to 60 degrees. Perfect. <laughs> I thrive in this type of weather. I, I don't know how anybody sits there and is like, summer is the best. Summer is the best season of them all. I just love 90 degree weather and it makes me feel so happy. I, I don't understand you people. I don't get it. I don't understand. I want to melt and I just want to stay inside all day when it is that temperature. When it's fall, oh my gosh. I want to be outside at the pumpkin patch. Uh, I want to be drinking wine at the pumpkin patch. Um, I want to be... I don't know in a haunted house all of this type of stuff, you know, you know, like I don't Understand hot weather people. Okay, so now just switching gears I'm gonna take my morphe m506 brush right here um, And I'm gonna take the Jason Wu the matte agave palette right here I just got this at Target and I'm just gonna take that dark brown shade right here And I'm just gonna focus this on like the very outer corner here And I'm trying to also keep like the the overall shape of this eyeshadow look kind of like like not super sharp right here, but I am gonna probably clean it up so that it kind of goes out a little bit more. And I'm kind of just like tapping the color into like where that the shimmery colors were. Um, I don't wanna completely cover the shimmer, but I do just want it to kind of like blend. Okay, and then switching back over to the Vive Essential palette, um, I'm gonna grab So Shy, which is just this really light transition kind of color here um, on my Cala brush. And I'm just gonna use that to kind of just like smoke out that top. It doesn't have like much color to it, but I like it because it helps to like blend out that dark color, kind of fade it into my skin color. Oh, I like where this is going. Yes, I like the direction. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to clean up like my skin area here, just using the um, simple makeup wipes right here. And again, I'm not making this like super sharp here, but I do want to just keep to kind of this like, like pointy shape here. Um, so I'm just kind of lightly clearing off any of the color that's come down um, and I'm just kind of like tapping under it I'm not like dragging it you know what I mean 
All right, so now I'm just taking my Revlon um, Photo Ready Candid Concealer like I've been doing in every video. <laughs> and I'm just going to conceal like red tones um, in the darkness under my eyes. Um, a lot lately I've not been using foundation, I've just been using concealer because um, my skin has in general kind of been behaving. Right now it looks a little bit splotchy. I don't, I don't know. I think it might be from like all the face paint um, videos that I've been doing lately. My face paint is pretty old, so. <laughs> It's probably what's happening um but yeah i've just been using concealer instead of foundation i just feel like i don't know it's been giving me more of like a uh, skin like texture because it's not like i'm you know loading foundation and concealer and then powder and then everything else on top of it um i'm just using the concealer and i'm blending it out using the it cosmetics um heavenly Lux number seven brush right here it has two ends to it um and whenever i go over like actual little blemishes i'll actually like tap it out so that most of the product still kind of stays on there and doesn't blend it out um completely but over areas where it's just kind of like pinkish it's not like an actual blemish um i just kind of do this like in circles i hope that makes sense i'm not gonna lie guys i feel like normally with these videos i always tell you that i'm so nervous about doing the hair um i'm really excited about doing the hair for this one because i have an idea <laughs> really want it to work um but yeah you just stay tuned stay tuned to see my hair at the end because i already tried a little bit like a little tiny trial run uh of what i was going to attempt to do um and i think it's i think it's gonna work i do i think it's gonna work so <laughs> i'm excited i'm excited to officially like kind of add some curls and make it actually look kind of cute then I'm just gonna take my Cala Powder 481 brush right here and the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder in light pink and I'm just going to set my face. All right, and then, so as far as like bronzy contouring, um, I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics brush. Don't know the number, I'll have it listed below. Um, and I'm just going to use the KBD Shade and Light Palette. And because I am so pale, um, I always like to use the lightest shade, um, not only just because it's like the lightest shade in there, but because it has a kind of a, like a gray brown um, undertone um, and gray tones on lighter skin makes it look not as orangey. Um, so yeah. <laughs> and I just like to warm up around the edges of my forehead um, and then I'll go into like the cheeks and everything. And then just lightly running that on the sides of my nose. Um, I don't do crazy contour on my nose because I honestly don't mind the shape of my nose. Um, I don't need it to be like super skinny and chiseled. Um, I just like to do this for a little bit of definition. And then just going into the cheek area here. All right, and then I'm just going to switch over to my little random blush brush here. <laughs> and I'm gonna use some of the MAC Pinch Me blush um, just to kind of add a little bit of color. And I just like to do a little bit, kind of on the tip of my nose here. And then just taking my Real Techniques blush brush with nothing on it. Um, and just running it back over where I contoured and put blush. Um, this just helps to kind of melt it into the skin a little bit better. And it helps to kind of like blend around any of those edges. And now it's time to highlight. Um, I'm gonna use the Morphe M510 brush right here. I love this guy. Um, and I'm just gonna use that Makeup Revolution um, Batman highlighter. I've really, really fallen in love with this fast. Um, it has like a really, really good consistency to it. It's it's like if you use your finger, it kind of feels almost creamy. Um, and it's not like you can make it blinding, but also you can kind of blend it down till it be a little bit more like natural kind of. Um, but yeah, I love this on my skin tone. This shade look, works really good. They also had, I think it was Catwoman um, was the other one and that one was a little bit deeper. So and just highlighting all of the usual spots, tip of my nose bridge in my nose all of the good places mm. like do you see what I mean lord have mercy it's so pretty I am gonna blend that out a little bit though it's a little too much <laughs> and then I'm just going back over that kind of like what I just did with the real techniques brush um only I'm gonna take my elf small tapered brush right here um and just kind of run it over that highlight I feel like it I don't know it it blends this out so it's not as like harsh um and kind of just i don't know it blends it into everything makes it look a little bit more skin like see so it's still there it's just not as like streaky okay and i haven't been doing this with any of my costumes lately because obviously it just doesn't really make sense um but i feel like i can do it with this one i feel like i can get away with it on this look um usually like on every day um like makeup before work and stuff um i have these specific little like freckles in certain areas that i kind of like that i like to bring back after i've done like 
you know concealer powder all of that stuff um so i just use the anastasia dip brow and just like a little nail dotting tool here um and i just kind of dip into it and kind of bring those back this is not for everybody but i just i don't know i kind of like them so i'm just doing that and it's like i'll i'll pat and twist and then i just like run my finger over top of them to kind of blend them into um you know whatever powder was previously laid down makes them look a little bit more natural <laughs> all right so now i'm going to take my little morphe mb47 i believe this is um it's the little flat top brush um and i'm going to grab more of that deep brown color that we took from the jason Wu palette um and i'm just going to run that under my eye i don't know if i'm gonna go all the way in i i don't know yet we'll figure that out <laughs> but um i'm not going down very far with this i want to meet this shape here um and i don't want to bring the eyes down i want to just stick with like this sort of a thing <laughs> do you like that description this sort of a thing <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> i actually do think i'm gonna bring it all the way in so i'm not like stopping like right here i'm actually gonna bring it all the way in towards my tear duct Okay, and then back on my Morphe 506 brush, um, M506, sorry, yeah, M506. <laughs> I'm going to grab more of that delicious shade from the Vive palette, and I'm just using that to lightly blend out under here. Again, I'm not going down too far. I just want that line to be, like, smoked out a little bit. Okay, and then just taking that Makeup Revolution Batman highlighter again um, on my little no-name MAC brush. <laughs> I'm going to use that on the inner corner of my eye and on my brow bone, um, and I'm going to bring this i'm gonna bring this like probably up into this area too i want this area to be pretty bright and kind of like shiny so <laughs> we'll see and i'm actually bringing this like kind of under my tear duct right through here too kind of like mixing it with that dark color and i'm actually going to use i think my cala brush right here um with a little bit of that highlight just to kind of like blend up into this area because i don't want it to be overly shiny um and this fluffier brush will kind of like diffuse the color a little bit more okay so i'm gonna go off camera and do my brows and my lashes really quick if you want to see how i've been doing my brows lately um either watch one of the previous halloween videos because there's like in almost all of them i tell you how i do my brows um or comment down below if you want me to specifically talk about how i do my brows um i've just talked about it a million times in these videos and i don't feel like doing it today <laughs> so i'm gonna do that um and then i'm gonna use the elf big mood mascara i've really been liking this i tried this a couple videos ago um and it's i love it i put like three coats of it on and it makes them so big and fluffy and then i might do half lashes I don't know yet, I haven't decided, but I will let you know whenever I come back whatever I ended up doing. <laughs> Alright guys, brows and lashes are done. Um, what I ended up doing with my lashes is I took some of the Ardell Wispy Lashes um, and I kind of cut them in half. Um, not perfectly in half i cut like just kind of a little bit off of the end um and i used the inner portion on the outer portion of my eye but then i took the other piece that was like originally the outside part um and stacked it on top so that the outer corner here is like a little bit fuller i don't know i like it i think it turned out good <laughs> Okay, so now really the only thing that I think I have left um, is my lip, um, which I cleared off like the foundation and powder and all of that um, with the Simple Makeup Wipes. And then I also did apply chapstick um, in the flavor of vanilla latte because it's delicious. <laughs> so I think for the lip, I'm going to take the Bite um, Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon in Midnight Rye. It's like a deep brown color. When I thought about this look originally, the one thing that I knew that I wanted to do was like a dark brown lip. <laughs> and it looks like this. It's like a little crayon that just kind of like twists up and it has like a point at the end. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier to kind of like line your lips and all that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish doing this. And then I'm actually going to take the Anastasia Sepia Lip Gloss and just kind of pop this over it. Um, so the next time you see me, I'll have the lips done and I will do my hair and get into costume. <laughs> all right, guys, here's the completed look. <laughs> and no, I didn't chop all of my hair off for this look. <laughs> I semi-recently had like a trim to my hair where um, one of the stylists at my salon added a whole bunch of layers to my hair. Um, so luckily I was able to kind of like pin stuff up and 
under. I don't want you guys to see the back of my head because it looks really not good. Um, <laughs> but I was able to pull like some of the layers out um, and like my front pieces and everything to kind of make it look like I have short hair. <laughs> I'm afraid to move too much though because I don't know how secure the clips are on the back of my head. <laughs> So yeah, if you are coming here to learn how to do this tutorial, um, obviously you don't have to have the short hair. It's a Halloween costume, it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah, if you have short hair, it might be a little bit easier, um, or if you get a wig, but you know, I'm not willing to chop my hair off. Um, and we all know how I feel about wigs. <laughs> not gonna spend my money <laughs> so as far as all of this i got the ears from spirit halloween um i think the necklace is from burlington from a long time ago this little like this is actually like a crop top um and i had actually used this underneath of my costume last year for mystique um but yeah i just it's a little crop top and i just put it under here um and this is just like a little bodysuit a little baby shirt like what preston says <laughs> and i just got this off of amazon <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the end of this spooky Halloween video. Um, I really, like, I know that I have the vivid red hair, but I naturally have, like, strawberry blonde hair. So Josie having the orange, like, orange red hair, um, I feel, I feel like I had to do it. I, felt, I had to do this costume. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me yet again through another Halloween video. I hope you liked this one. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below and to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Um, and also, if you want to see the little TikTok um, that I came up with kind of throughout this video um, or the Instagram pictures of this final look, um, head over there. Here are both of my handles. Um, yeah, head over there, like, comment, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, have a great day, a great night, whatever time of day it is when you are watching this, and I will see you in the next spooky Halloween video. Bye.